Bobby's heading to the Philippines and wants to know what the nightlife is like. What Bob doesn't know is that nightlife in the Philippines is very different from back home. In fact, due to its diversity, nightlife across many cities and areas in the Philippines can be completely different from one another. So today we're going to help Bob out by exploring the nightlife in the Philippines but also talk about the more sensitive topics such as scams and freelancers. If you're anything like Bob, you may be thinking to yourself, well yeah, what is the nightlife in the Philippines actually like? In general, the Philippines offers one of the best nightlife scenes across Asia, but that's only if you're in the right place. So let's start our journey in the south. As regular viewers will know, areas in the south such as the Davao region are slightly more conservative and less touristy. Similarly, the nightlife in the Davao region is slightly more quieter than other regions across the Philippines. So if you decide to swing by Davao City, you will certainly find some nice bars, some wine establishments and also a few small nightclubs. But in general, these tend not to be as lively as other areas. On the plus side, if you're dating and Want to take your Filipina out for a nice quiet drink, there are lots of beautiful places around the city. But Bob wants to know about Manila and Cebu. Both are amazing destinations filled with incredible nightlife. If you're interested in cocktail bars or small wine bars, you will find so many of these establishments across the cities. Naturally, prices are much higher for a drink in these areas and sadly scams are more common. One scam that expats experience on a night out is from taxis. If you've had a few drinks, the driver will put the meter on and choose to go the longest way possible or pretend to go wrong, all at your expense. So when possible, it's best to book with Grab or agree on a price beforehand. But be aware, as there is another more common scam which is important to know if you're interested in nightlife in the Philippines. This is the change scam. This is where you are given the incorrect change after you order a drink. This is one of the most simplest but most common scams that you will run into. But Bob needs to know all sides of the picture and this includes the many freelancers that he may run into. So what I've noticed is that some clubs tend to know who the freelancers are and try not to let them in as they don't want the freelancers to bother the customers. But on the other side, it seems that many clubs also work with freelancers in order to get more drink orders. It's important to remember that even though it's tolerated in society, selling those kinds of services are technically illegal. There are some areas such as Angela City that have built a reputation on their unique nightlife. What's been reported back to me is that some places have become a hotspot for freelancers. Barakai Island, for example. In a lot of the nightlife venues, you will find a mixture of ages. It's not only the younger generation. If you're somebody who likes to go out on your own or you're a single guy, don't worry about heading out to a local bar or to a club alone, as a lot of travelers and expats do the exact same thing. I normally take around $30 for a night out, which includes taxi fares, so you don't really need a lot of money unless you're partying in those high-class establishments. Thank you. 